In this video, I'll show you the best ways to get the chocolate eggs that you need for the pass. This pass over here takes chocolate eggs to level up, and as you can see, my next thing's a prismatic egg, and we will be opening the prismatic egg later in the episode. What are we going to get? Are we going to get ourselves a secret pet? So let's start with the least effective method. And that method is catching pets. So let's just click AFK here. Let's just do pet park because I'm here. And click, click go AFK. As you can see, every time I catch one, I'll get one singular chocolate egg. So how long does it take per catch? It is about five seconds with a 100% chance. And obviously a lot of the time, especially if you're not doing it in pet park, which actually probably is the best area to do it in now, thinking about it, since everything's 100%. But if you do it in any other area, obviously there's going to be some pets which aren't 100% chance, therefore take longer than five seconds. So... 5 seconds or so per chocolate egg is not a good rate. Which means it will take you 20 minutes to get 250 chocolate eggs. 20 minutes for 250 chocolate eggs is a terrible rate. Now, we'll move on to fishing. So, this depends on your rod. And I want you to assume you have the hyper rod or diamond rod. Let's just assume the uh, hyper rod for now because it's not that hard to get. So the hyper rod fishes every 2.5 seconds. That means a chocolate egg every 2.5 seconds making it double the speed of catching. Therefore, for 250 chocolate eggs, it will take you only 10 minutes. And also, it's a little bit faster and better than catching. It's also better because not only do you get fish for gems and coins or whatever you want, you also get these items down here, which you can't see because it's behind my player stats, but you can get prismatic eggs, you can get uh, tomes, you can get loads of cool things. And also, obviously, it's a 100% chance every time, whereas catching, obviously, is only like an 80% chance or a 40% chance, depending on what ball you use, and there's travel time between each pet. So, fishing is way better than catching but absolutely everything pales in comparison to boss fights i recommend killing the kraken why not because it's the fastest every boss gives the same amount of chocolate eggs it's not because it's the fastest it's because the kraken gives respawn tomes here so you can fight it over and over again and get some respawn tomes back which is pretty good also the kraken pet is pretty cool but if you want to do this on hypercore or king slime it also gives you 250 Okay, actually, I need to update this. I just realized level 1 Kraken gives 250, which means this is insane. It's a one-shot for me. I just go up to the Kraken and boop, it's dead. Look at this. Ready? 3, 2, 1, and there we go, it's dead. <laughs> so I'm going to time my Kraken boss fight to see how many eggs I get, because you always get 250 eggs. That's why I've been comparing everything to 250. So 20 minutes for catching. 10 minutes for fishing, so let's see how long the Kraken takes me. Okay, with my team, obviously, remember, it depends on your team. If you kill the Kraken in 20 minutes, not worth it, but no one kills the Kraken in 20 minutes. I think pretty much every player should be able to kill the Kraken under 10 minutes. If you're killing the Kraken over 10 minutes, you shouldn't be, like, grinding for chocolate eggs. You need a better team, because that is, that is ridiculous. But also, your team won't be as good as mine. However, it will be good enough to be better than the other two methods. And that's the Kraken defeated. In just over 30 seconds, I'll say around 35 seconds on my timer. And look, there we go, 250 chocolate eggs and also getting a respawn tome while we're at it, so that fight was pretty much free. Okay, I'm going to kill the Kraken a couple more times, just so I can level up and then open that prismatic egg at the end of the episode. And oh look, another 250. Doesn't matter what you do, you'll always get 250. And that means the prismatic egg is now claimable here, so let's claim it, there we go. Let's also just like claim everything else while I'm at it. I haven't really been claiming these things because I've been waiting to do it on video. So let's just slurp all of these guys up. <sighs> also, I'd like to say, if you're not a free-to-play uh, person like me, this premium pass is such good value. 400 Robux for 4 extra prismatic eggs and loads of other things is insane price. But as you can see, I'm a free-to-play guy, so uh, can't really spend Robux. I would love to, but I'm doing this series free-to-play and no trading just so I'm fair. Anyway, let's head off to the Hyperwave Arcade. In fact, we're going to do it in Magma Basin, which may seem a little weird. However, I'm doing it here because the limited secrets that I want, obviously the new ones, are in every area. And then I've got a lot of the top hats. Like, if we go... Okay, let me show you. Uh, if we go over here, actually it won't show up there. But I've got four of the top hats hatched. Look at this. Wait, look at my arcade team. It's just four top hats that I've hatched. So this is the best place to do it. So without further ado, it's time to use my Prismatic Egg. I don't know if luck helps, I still don't know, apparently it doesn't, but I may as well use it, I don't think it really affects anything. Okay, let's click use on the prismatic mystery egg. Will I get a secret? I probably won't, but I can't get a magma cube, as you can see. Magma cube is off the list because I've got ultra prismatic as an upgrade, so let's just, let's just click it a couple times. What are we going to get? Are we going to get ourselves a secret pet? Yes or no? I assume not. No, we got ourselves a Cerberus, which is, uh, you know, 
<laughs> basically a magma cube, but not a magma cube because it's a Cerberus. Anyway, that's about it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Goodbye.